George Washington Carver He was a scientist and inventor He was born in Diamond, Missouri, United States, on 1860s His father's name was Giles and mother's name was Mary Within a week of his birth, he was kidnapped along with his mother and other slaves by night raiders from Arkansas while his mother and the rest kidnapped were sold in Kentucky, he was saved through an agent of Moses Garver. At that time, local schools did not take in African American children, and hence he had to undertake 10 miles of journey every day to attain education. After receiving education at a number of schools, he received a diploma from the Minneapolis High School. He got admission at the Highland College in Highland, Kansas, but when he arrived, he was rejected due to his race He later went to Beeler, Kansas City, where he set up a conservatory, maintained plants, flowers and a geological collection In 1888, after he was granted a loan of $300 from the Bank of Ness City, he decided to study art and piano at the Simpson College in Indianola, Iowa, joining the next year Encouraged by his art teacher to pursue education in the field of botany, in 1891, he began to attend the Iowa State Agricultural College in Ames He became the first African-American student of the institute Encouraged by his professors at Iowa State, he continued research at the Iowa Experiment Station for two years His work in pathology and macology earned him national recognition as a botanist In 1896, the president of the Tuskegee Institute, Booker T. Washington invited him to become the head of their agriculture department he accepted the offer and soon introduced alternative crops for farmers At Tuskegee Institute, he played a pivotal role in strengthening their research center He introduced the concept of crop rotation and conducted research on crop products His efforts in the study of the development and the diversification of crops helped a large number of farmers this created a sense of self-sufficiency and means of livelihood for poor farmers He also introduced an innovative mobile classroom, Jessup Wagon, which facilitated the spread of his cultivation methods to farmers This was funded by New York financier and philanthropist Morris Ketchum Jessup From 1915 he began to experiment and research on the various new uses of peanuts, soybeans, pecans and sweet potatoes In 1916, his popular bulletin, How to Grow the Peanut and 105 Ways of Preparing it for Human Consumption, was published for the first time In 1920, he gave a speech at the Peanut Growers Association on the different ways in which peanuts can be used he also spoke at the United Peanut Associations of America, elaborating on the possibilities of the peanut He also demonstrated 145 peanut products The next year he gave a testimony before the Congress for a tariff on imported peanuts In 1922, the tariffs that he proposed were passed on imported peanuts he also authored articles in many peanut industry journals and also wrote the syndicated newspaper column, Professor Carver's Advice From 1933 to 1935, he researched on the use of peanut oil massages to cure infantile paralysis, also known as polio From 1935 to 1937 he became involved in the USDA disease survey in order to study the various causes of the number of plant diseases His master's degree in plant diseases and mycology helped him in this project In 1938, he established the George Washington Carver Foundation 
which aim to continue research activities in the field of agriculture. He donated a sum of $60,000 to the foundation. He did not marry throughout his life. In 1928, he received an honorary doctorate from Simpson College. In 1939, he received the Roosevelt Medal for Outstanding Contribution to Southern Agriculture. He died in Tuskegee, Alabama, United States, on January 5, 1943, at the age of 80. Education is the key to unlock the golden door of freedom, said George Washington Carver.